It all comes down to week 12. Lafayette took care of business last Saturday to remain in the driver's seat, and with a win over their biggest rival this Saturday, they will be hoisting more than just the rivalry trophy. Hi, I'm Maria Tribal Peace in the Patriot League studio. The Patriot League Championship Trophy will be ready to go at Goodwin Stadium should the Leopards beat the Mountain Hawks. For Lafayette, the championship will be the first under head coach John Troxell and the program's eighth all-time. The Leopards last won the Patriot League Championship in 2013 when they shocked number 15 Lehigh with a 50-28 route in front of a sold-out crowd. This time around, it's Lafayette that is ranked in the top 25 and sitting at 8-2 on the season. For these guys, I mean, I think it's just about going about our business. You know, I don't think, you know, I've said this to them, you know, the, the end result, if we win is a championship, but the, the, the main goal is to beat Lehigh and, and prepare as hard as we can for this game and not look at anything else. Uh, you know, and I think our guys have done that all year where they've taken it one step at a time. We've gotten to the end result, which is the Lehigh game, which has some meaning for our guys to play in it, but we have to go out and, and just play football and, and not worry about all the outside noise and the distractions. Should the Leopards falter, number 25 Holy Cross will have a chance to claim its fifth straight outright Patriot League championship with a win over Georgetown. It was a win over the Hoyas five seasons ago, highlighted by a Jacob Dobbs pick six that started the Crusaders championship run, and a win on Saturday will guarantee they at least earn a share of the Patriot League title with Lafayette. This one this weekend, you know, is a big deal. Obviously, if we have a chance to win this thing, uh, or if we do win this thing, we have a chance to uh, share the title, but it's a, a fifth title. If we win and they lose, obviously we're in a situation where we win it outright. So putting your name on a trophy, another banner in the stadium, obviously is a, a big deal. Not exactly how we drew it up, but I also wanted them to understand that you come Saturday and you get to the end of this thing and you're standing in line because we do our senior celebration after and you win this game and you find out the other team that you need to lose loses, you know, what would that feel like when you're walking into that selection show on Sunday? So don't wait for that moment to believe. Let's start believing that's gonna happen now and you know, practice as hard as we can and play as hard as we can and cherish these final moments, whether it be you know, this week or a few more weeks. Either way, love every minute of it. And I think that's where we're at. Georgetown is coming off a thrilling overtime win at Bucknell where the Bison battled back from a 37-15 deficit late in the third to take a 44-37 lead with 3-14 left. Tyler Knopp threw his fourth touchdown pass of the game to tie the game at 44 with 1.45 remaining, and in overtime, Joshua Stakely punched it in from one yard out to secure the 50-47 win. Colgate joined Georgetown in improving to 3-2 in the league with a 37-21 win over Lehigh. Jake Sterney threw for 360 yards and three touchdowns as the Raiders ran out to a 30-0 lead and never looked back. Both Georgetown and Colgate have the chance with wins this weekend, coupled with a Lafayette loss to earn a share of the title, but Lafayette would still have the tiebreaker and earn the FCS bid. The games all kick off early on Saturday with the two noon starts destined to garner a lot of the attention. Colgate and Fordham get going at 1 p.m. in Hamilton, and all the league games are on ESPN+. It was a blast to bring you all of the highlights and interviews throughout the season. Follow us on social at Patriot League TV to keep track of our Patriot League champion in the FCS playoffs. Enjoy the final week of the regular season.